Okay, so here is a quick video clip of my strawberry fluff recipe. Basically, it's one box of strawberry jello. You make that according to the instructions, refrigerate it, allow it to set, and then you can continue on with the rest of the recipe. Um, it's a box of Philadelphia cream cheese, um, one can of 15 ounce cold cocktail fruit, stick it in the refrigerator at the same time you do the jello so it'll be nice and chill, one tub of the Cool Whip, the 16 ounce tub, and then one cup of toasted pecans. I like to toast the pecans because when you mix it into this recipe, you want it to continue to have its crunch. Sometimes when you add nuts to a recipe, they get soft and chewy as opposed to staying nice and toasty and crispy. Um, and I just toast the pecans like for 15, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes at um, 350 degrees. You'll be able to smell, you know, that they're ready. Um, and you don't want them to get too toasty because they will taste a little burnt. Um, but yeah. And so basically, once the jello is set, you go ahead and take it out and you get a hand mixer and you just, or whisk, and you soften it. Then you add the cream cheese to it. Um, the cream cheese, you want it to be softened so you can get that out and allow it to go into room temperature just to get really soft. And then you whip, whip it in there along with the, um, the jello, the cream cheese, and then you fold in the whipped cream, you fold in the drained cocktail fruit, and then you fold in the pecans. You can use any nuts that you want to. You don't have to use pecans. I like pecans because that's what we grew up with mostly, um, but you can use pistachios, you can use walnuts, um, I think you could even do cashews if you prefer. It's just something to have that crunch element to the recipe. So this is it. If you'd like to take a snapshot of that recipe, I hope that you can read my handwriting. I hope that you give this recipe a try. Um, yeah. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.